Hi, it's Paul again, and uh, this is the initial test of my converted uh, Bolex H16S slash M, and uh, with the reflex system I developed for it. Here's a monitor connected HDMI to the HDMI camera, which is the uh, focusing uh, system for the uh, camera. It's aimed at a ground glass, internal ground glass. Anyway, I went over all that in the last video, so I'm just kind of showing uh, the setup. It started to rain and sprinkle. I was gonna take this all outside and it started to sprinkle, so I'm like, you know, I'll just shoot it out the window, or the back uh, sliding door here. So, uh, you know, my camera doesn't get wet and I really wanted to get on with the test. So uh, I've got Kodak uh, Tri-X 200 in here. I'm rating it at 160. And uh, right now I have it, the aperture set, set to F4. I've got the monitor. I can zoom in and out on the monitor. This monitor doesn't represent the Super 16 frame. The Super 16 frame will be inside of this. It's oversized so that I could mask it. But I haven't got there yet uh, as far as masking the correct aspect ratio so you're just seeing the jagged edge around the ground glass that the glue mostly that holds it into its its uh, base so uh, i'll zoom it in just a little bit that should be a lot closer to what i would see on super 16 so here it is i'm aiming it and uh, that's through the lens we're seeing through the through the taking lens which is a rokinon 85 millimeter and uh I have it set for, uh, you know, 160 ISO since it's uh, in kind of an overcast day. And uh, I use my, I use the Centimeter 2 app to to uh, check the exposure. Anyway, uh, I'm fixing to roll some film through the camera, probably about, uh, I would say about 25, 35, 50 feet maybe. And uh, then I'll process it and uh, post the results. Unfortunately, I do not have a Super 16 gate on my projector, but I have two of those projectors and one of them's bad, so I'll probably wind up modifying the gate and swap it out for the one that's in there. I don't want to modify the one that that's with the projector now, but I have two ident almost identical projectors. They're both Athenas. And uh, anyway, once I get that mod done, I'll be able to do Super 16, but I I'm going to wind up scanning on the flatbed probably, flatbed scanner, the uh, Super 16 frames to get a closer look at them, or I have a, a microscope camera that I can also use to get a couple of frames here and there, but uh, it won't be uh, moving pictures, but I'll be able to tell if if the registration's good and focus is good. Anyway, I don't have a whole lot of battery left on this uh, um, HDMI monitor, and uh, I'm running the camera off of um, off of this battery pack here, so um, it's it's this is a converter that converts uh, uh, a USB to 12 volt, and it puts out just enough power to run that that camera. So I could plug it into anything, you know, that puts out I think 500 milliamps of USB, and then power that camera. So even some of the the uh, MP style Sony batteries have a built in USB, but some of them may work and some not. Anyway, I'm going to get on with uh, shooting this film, and uh, I can't do that with uh, while holding this phone camera in my hand, so uh, I'm going to cut right here. <laughs> 